think they have taken steps. So they have uh, suspended a nuclear missile tests. Mm -hmm. They talked about uh, dismantling uh, the missile test site at Dongchangni. Yeah. Because North Korea has talked about progressive and synchronous uh, process. Mm -hmm. So that means um, a phased process, but also a reciprocal process where the U.S. also provides concessions. Mm -hmm. And it looks like North Korea is thinking more than just the suspension of, of, of military exercises, but things that would be steps towards a peace regime. So I think that's what North Korea is disappointed by. That is Again, steps towards a peace regime, right? Okay. And we don't know exactly what North Korea means by that, but we know that, for example, that we've talked about the, an end of war declaration. And in the, the statement from the foreign ministry, they also talked about end of war declaration. And it seemed that the U.S. didn't have anything interesting to offer on that. Right. So if you look at the follow through on the agreement, um, one of the points was about the, the handover of the existing remains that North Korea has of U.S. service members, as well as beginning negotiations or a process to excavate and exhume additional remains. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it seems like there's been some discussion of that, but um, not as much as we'd like. But it seems like there's some progress there. Um, but I think the first point that was made in the, in the Singapore Declaration was about working towards, jointly working towards a peace regime. And it looks like the US didn't bring anything to offer on that. Mm -hmm. So um, we have to realize that there's uh, denuclearization steps that North Korea has to take. But the U.S. also has to take steps towards uh, working towards a peace regime. Mm -hmm. On the timeline, again, I think, um, again, North Korea has talked vaguely about a phased process. I don't know how long that will take, um, but certainly longer than two, three months. And then, of course, the U.S. side has talked about uh, having uh, an accelerator process where denuclearization steps happen pretty quickly. And I think, you know, I've heard you know, two to three years. So basically before the end of Trump's first term, right? So if, if we're thinking about that, then um, I think, you know, we'd want to see some major steps being taken from both sides uh, pretty quickly, um, and then a, a significant part of the process ending within two years. The, the remains recovery issue is very important. Uh, certainly to the family members of the, of the missing uh, service members or, or prisoners of war. Uh, that being said, it is not one of the major issues. It shouldn't be one of the major issues. It should be sort of a secondary issue. So it, it's important, and I think if North Korea follows through on handing over the, the sets of remains that it currently has and gets into negotiations to, to do more excavation, that's a great sign. It's positive signal. It's confidence-building measure. But I think uh, it, it's, it's secondary to denuclearization and the peace regime, and that's where the focus should be on. I know, so North Korea has proposed or said that it might be a good idea to do more sort of uh, different types of exchanges. Um, some ideas could be, you know, academic exchanges, uh, cultural exchanges, sports exchanges, scientific, technical exchanges. There's many different types of uh, trust building, cooperative uh, exchanges that could happen. But again, those are all sort of uh, secondary, tertiary issues, right, that don't move the, they're, they're again helpful uh, signs that, you know, the relationship between the two countries is better, but that should be a secondary consideration and not happen until you have more progress on the denuclearization and peace regime side.